for one more game. Uh, of course, we're going to take a break this week. So I am streaming today. Next stream should be next Sunday. I will have family visiting next week. So I'm thinking maybe Tuesday stream of the following week. I think it's May 2nd. I may postpone that stream. We'll see what happens. But for now, it's today and then next Sunday. As far as I know. So. We're in the last level here. What I'm going to have to do is fight. These metallic monstrosities are on the floor above us. We have all the items necessary to revive what I think is a machine. That I have no clue what it's going to do. These are all items that we didn't want to carry we left behind because carrying the machine parts made it too cumbersome for us to move. So we're on 12, or on 13 rather. And 12 is the prison where we finish everything off. Now, there are a couple of doors that aren't opened here. I don't know where we get the keys from them. I think if we beat the wardens in the prison, they may drop a key or two. We'll see. It's going to be a pretty hard ending. Especially since the wardens are like... Probably the hardest enemies here. The most hit points. What's over here in the corner? Is there anything? No, that's just junk we left behind. Okay, so let's find the portal out of here. It's the crystal... I was told we could use that crystal from up above when we fight the boss. Probably best to keep falling down here and... ...getting some help out of it. I've completely missed the portal. The portal's here. I gotta mark that on the map. And I'll give my thoughts about Legend of Grimrock at the end, like I usually do. Um, game's been pretty good. Had some moments where I was like, what the heck? How are we fighting these guys? Maybe we're under-leveled, maybe we need to grind. But no. Just write my vote in chat. Didn't really read the instructions. I vote Cave Story Plus. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's perfect, Varanor. Cave Story Plus, that's awesome. I saw Senor Jefe play it a long time ago, and I hear it's a very good game. From what he said. Excellent choice. Thank you, Varanor. Cave Story Plus is awesome, from what I've heard. Nice little puzzle adventure game. From what I remember, it takes place in a cave, obviously, but... Played it myself a long time ago. It is. Yeah, I, all the viewers never let me down on their choices, so I, your recommendations have been great so far. So that's going to be game number six. In terms of the order we play it in, um, we're going to do a randomizer. Basically, we'll give everything a number and then randomly spin a wheel on online that'll give us the order of these games. So that's awesome. Thank you. Stay, Cave Story Plus, I should have it on PC. If not, it's going to be an Xbox game. But that's not a problem, because the Xbox now works perfectly fine with the PC, so. A roll a dice if it's six. Yeah, there you go. We could roll a dice as well. That's a good one. Um, Google has some spinners for free, and dice... Yeah, dice might be better, even. Better than a spinner. A lot of people do spinners. So let's find our way up stairs. I 
we got a lot of games on that backlog, but we're getting less and less. Actually, let me turn off the redemption so nobody else redeems anything. And I'll have to give them back their points, and it becomes a little messy. Viewer rewards, channel points, uh, manage rewards and challenge. Let's turn off select the game from the stream. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, we're doing six. That'll take us to 149. 150 is a special game. Um, don't know what we're going to do with 151, but we're definitely going to bring back viewer's choice around that time, too. Okay, so here is the portal. We gotta get ready because we're gonna need to fight these big guys. Hopefully we can level up with attacking them. Hopefully... Ah, uh, that failed? Why did that fail? Got to concentrate on one of them at a time. Alright. Good thing we got crystals downstairs. God. No. They're tough. There's more than one. Who knows how many hit points they have, and magic doesn't seem to affect them now. I just realized that. This is going to be a real trip. So, we accidentally activated these things last time. I don't think we were supposed to activate all of them. In our haste of running around, we accidentally might have walked by one which made him come and attack us so I think the idea is to only activate them one by one so you're not fighting them all at once so we might be grinding here who knows Let's go get our health first. We've picked up every item that was in here. I don't think there's any more secrets. The only items we hadn't picked up were in these rooms. And we need another gold key for them, but I doubt we're going to get it. We're out of food. Great. No, oh, we got a couple of steaks, but they're not going to last very long. So we have one gold key before, we used it to pick up the armor we're wearing. I think there's actually a room there with food, but I don't know how to grab another gold key to, to use it there.
at best if we run out of food. We're gonna have to do something. Nope. Spawned right where he was. I don't know which one we fought already and which one we haven't. That hit him for five points. Okay. That's hard to believe. Oh, I can use magic on him. Okay. I didn't think that was an option. The other good thing about having these pits around, if you get into trouble with them, you can just easily fall down. Might take a while. Thankfully, we have a crystal here. He missed! No! We're all so hungry here again. Even Minotaur is always hungry. He's our biggest character, so... Probably why he's always hungry. <sighs> Messed that up. Just trying to get the magic ready and Would be cool is if we could make one of them fall down a pit, because then we could fight them on the floor below. That would be pretty awesome. We could isolate them. Alright, we're gonna have to fall here. Please tell me. Alright, Malt the mage died. We're gonna have to revive him. Do you remember the magic spells? Yeah, I remember most of them. Um, we're only proficient in two categories of magic spells. Earth spells and... Um, fire magic. There's four categories of magic. You also get air. Which, I never really understood air. And you also get uh, shock magic. heard that shock is probably better than than earth magic but earth magic is basically poison fire magic we've been using for the entire ride um there are spells you basically have to figure out these spells on your own so for him we have to find the fireball scroll the shield scroll the fire burst scroll, the enchanted fire arrow scroll, so that we could learn what they are. There's two magic spells for mad earth magic that I have not learned. And since these monsters we're fighting are basically steampunk robots of sorts, we're not going to be able to poison them, I'm assuming. So I'm concentrating on fire magic only. Yeah, you could do it by trial and error. I found maybe one or two spells by try and trial and error. Um, once we have them revived or mage, I will. I will try it. Yeah, a lot of people told me they. They basically just sat there just pushing buttons until they got something. 
Which is one way to do it. I found an Earth spell that our mage is too... Um, he's not leveled up enough to use. So clearly, it's like... Useless to us, but... Let's see here. But like this, apparently is something, I think. Braxton is not skilled enough to successfully cast that spell. So that, I'm thinking, is a... An Earth spell, he just can't cast it. Um, there you go, we just discovered a new one by accident. Poison Shield. For sure you know that this is poison. Because all the poison uh, spells start with this. All the magic spells start with this one. Yeah, so Poison Shield would have been really helpful earlier in the game. It's a little too late for it. Um... That might be something now. So, you keep trying. Once you learn it, that's it. Let's make sure his magic comes back. And as... Uh, well, we don't really have food, so... These are all healing items. Gotta feed our Minotaur. Does this have food? No. Torches. Also carrying too much. Come on. We need that energy so we could shoot fire bolts at the mechanical monsters above. So that was shield. The so shield under earth. Poison shield. So number eleven over there is probably poison arrow. I'm thinking. Or Poison Bolt. Something like that. A lot of people said they were in, like, level 13 per character when they... When they did this, so we're at level 13 with him. Our mage needs to level up. I'm hoping he levels up. Everybody's at level 13 otherwise, so... It's a good spot to be in for this game. We should be able to kill the end boss. Do another save, a real save. Not that quick saves are not real saves, but... I have no clue of knowing which one we've already attacked and which one we haven't. And he's gonna attack us, so... Missed them. He's got this charge attack too. I hope we never get caught with. Luckily for us, he's nice, big, and slow. Messed that up. Just trying to do a back attack. Like that. Caught me. Minotaur is about dead, so I don't know. If I drop down the level, he's going to die anyway, so... Where'd he go? There he is. Back to me. Not like that. Run. 
run, run, run. Because now the other one's coming. Concentrate on this one. If we kill one of them, my mage will get stronger, Hope. There goes the Minotaur. Alright, we got him. 750 XP, and we still didn't level up our mage. Seriously? Let's revive our Minotaur. Kind of hoping the mage would have been leveled up by now. What does he got? Oh, so close. One more death. And he'll be at level 13. I really like this, and I want to play some more dungeon crawlers in the future. More RPGs as well. We did it in the past because the amount of time it takes to play them. But I found a good listing of some that are under 30 hours, under 20 hours even, so... We'll be able to play a good amount of them. At this point, I stream about 40 hours a week, a month, so technically any game that's like 40 hours will play the whole month, but you could stream it. Save. Save over that. Well, actually, we don't need to save over that. Every time you touch the crystal, it does an auto-save, or... Well, it doesn't learn to save for you. Does this have anything like food in it? No, this has nothing. We dropped it because it was too heavy to carry. Okay, let's kill another one. How about this one? I hit him. Luckily. I have no food. going around the pillar until we kill him. Maybe if you didn't miss, we'd be okay. the consequences if they are hungry uh they will not auto regenerate health and eventually they could die permanently even if you revive them what really makes them hungry is if they rest a lot like sleeping to restore your health will make them hungry so gotta balance it out kind of So they do regenerate health and energy over time, it's just... He's not doing much of that right now. And he's out of energy too, so... My mage. 
Uh, I think we already got all the food that we could. I don't think we're going to be able to find much, honestly. There might be one more blue steak. We'll see. I can't go upstairs. If I could go upstairs, there would be food there. There we go. Nice. We leveled up our mage. Okay, let's fall to the floor below and get some food. If we have any. Thank you. Please tell me we have one more steak somewhere. I thought I saw another steak. Was that the only one we had left? Oh, goodness. Plus, he's also wearing Resist Cold. Okay. Here, last piece of food we have. It's a piece of bread. Wonderful. Let's level him up. So right now we're so far behind on fire earth magic. I think fire magic would be best because we get greater fireball. Fireballs cast by you are much more powerful. I think that's what we need. Um, let's do that. Earth magic doesn't really matter, right? Could do willpower plus one. Staff defense, health plus ten. Gonna help us the most here. We'll power plus one. Staff defense. Or we get 10 more health points. Or vitality plus one. <laughs> Let's go with. Health plus 10. Can't go wrong, right? It's health. Get back to the crystal. It's either four or five of those wardens that are upstairs. If there are four, we only took out two of them so far. We're getting closer. It'll be easier to fight them all. Now that there's more room to move around and not bump into them. Where the crystal is, I think this is where it is. Like some metal grinding in the background, I could hear it. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but. Yeah, we're completely out of food. I don't know how that's gonna work. We keep going back to the life crystal though. I don't know how long it takes him to die. Oh, the mage now. Come on. What did he do to deserve that? Get rid of that. We don't need that. There's nothing that can provide us food. All these mechanical parts we got, we gotta figure out the riddle of how to put it put them together so we can fight the end boss. So his fireballs should be more powerful now. 
How much more? We'll find out. Whoops. Okay. I'm not hearing any more wardens. That's impossible. They have to be here. It was like four of them before. There's one. 149. Okay, so it definitely leveled up. I'm gonna go backwards. Okay. Fine, we can manage this. Got him. Shame he doesn't drop food. <laughs> We're gonna need it. No, they can't. Anything mechanical in this game will not. The only thing that's a bio um, type animal that doesn't draw food is the crabs. So. Is that it? Is that the last of them? Oh, we can go upstairs. Hold on. What's up here? brings us here and that'll take us up to here there's still a door we don't open up there maybe we can get food here all those items you're seeing are items i dropped so i'm not gonna bother picking them up i can find some dinosaurs Dinosaurs suck to fight because they're really quick, but they do drop stakes. And those stakes fill up your health completely. It'd be real nice to find them right about now. That's a portal. Oh, okay. He won't drop food, but... He's good for experience points, unfortunately. Wow, he killed two of us already. How did that even touch us? Come on.
is the crystal here? It's all the way down there. Maybe now that he's dead and we revive him, he won't have a need for for food. Won't be complaining about not being able to eat the food. I hope. Still complaining about food. Pitfall with key. Level 11. I think at this point we just finish up a level 11. There's got to be something with food down there. The game supposedly gives you enough food. You're not going to starve to death very often. Then again, I don't know how long it would take to starve to death. Level 11. Some doors in this level that we need to figure out how to open, too. It's the wrong staircase, because I'm not seeing... Hang on. Yeah, this is the wrong staircase. We're supposed to go here. Remember with this map, left is right and right is left. And you're looking at it. There we go. I had a couple of issues where I've run out of food, but never anybody dying because of it. Killed four of these things, right? at least make sure they're all gone and then what we have to do is take the pieces we found downstairs and attach them to the wall mountain so there's always these tremors you feel could be a volcano for all I know yeah I'm not seeing or hearing them some keys here keyholes that we could eventually get keys to hopefully and do this um, get in there and maybe get some food but okay oh here we go this is the boss battle, right? They destroyed the mechanism. They took apart, took it apart to keep the portal closed. Man, I wish I would have saved it already. But it can still be mended. I know how. To reopen the portal, you need to find the missing parts. There are four parts missing. Go. I think we already found them, though. I didn't realize that you get this message after you kill everybody. This is one of them. Not sure how we're supposed to put them on there. Uh, we 
have all of them, right? One, two, three. Please tell me I'm not missing one. The orb. There it is. That's the fourth one, I think. No idea if that's where they go or not, but... An assembly of small pumps and valves, it seems still functional. Okay, that's one. Doesn't go there. I think we're supposed to be combining these things either, so... We pick up the wrong items from downstairs. <laughs> Throw it. Small gear. Finally machine gear. Okay. Time out. Let's see what needs to be done. Get a hint. Maybe they don't go there. The bladed gear is what we needed, and we also need the other gear. Bladed gear, the steel gear. Once the wardens have been defeated, place the four items in the machine to bring it back to life. Oh, you know what? I think we need to go across the way. Maybe it's here that it goes. Although, I don't see that. Save it right now, just in case. Putting it on the floor is not going to help. Oh, okay. Look at that. So then, where does the other one go? And then we prepare to die once we put this in. Now what? They're all in place.
So we need to activate this guy, but how? We're continuing through the door at 11, so a door must have opened. Okay. Something open? The keyhole. The items are in place, but it didn't activate anything. Is there an order that they're supposed to be put in? There's got to be something here besides these doors. Pretty sure there's a button we need to press. These statues have anything to do with it? Why did they not... Why did this guy not wake up? Yeah, if the water matters... Um... Once the wardens have been eliminated, place the four items in the machine to bring them back to life. The ore goes in the northern side, the bladed gear in the east, the infuser to the south, and the gear to the left, west. That's all it says. And then we're supposed to run for our lives, apparently. Wait, is it the bladed gear, or should it be a steel gear? Steel gear is on the other side, right? Yeah, the bladed gear. To the east. Steel gear to the west. Only one way to find out. Use a compass. Blade of gear to the east. Yeah. So that is right. And they're in the right position. Let's take them all out. This guy's already out of food too. We're we're in serious trouble here if we don't get any food. Wait a minute. The old gear, the infuser, and the orb. What was here? We messed something up. The bladed gear. We never put the bladed gear in. Is that it?
the bladed gear. Steel gear is here. This was the infuser, I think. And then all that's left is to put the orb. Okay, now we did something. I am whole again. Oh god, what is happening? You fool, you only lived so I can be set free. The only freedom you shall have is death. No. No, 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 no. I'm out of slay save slots. Hold on. Create some. not gonna let me save now is that it no it loaded stupid me thought it was under save okay so let's do this again that's the infuser or is it That's that. That's that. Okay, now's a good time to save too. The only freedom you shall have is death. Oh, God. Oh, a portal. That wasn't there before, was it? Let's get out of here. Save it. Where are we? Oh, we're in a new area. That goes upstairs. You cannot hide. He's been stalking our dreams the entire game. And now he's here. In case we get attacked. No! What the heck? Oh, buttons. There's buttons. Can't see the buttons. One of us is poisoned too, that sucks. Button, button. Our mage is dead. Holy cow. And we went the wrong way too, so that's just gonna activate the poison again. Yeah, I learned poison shield five minutes ago. I did not expect that to happen. Let's do it again now that we know what's gonna happen. So there's buttons on the wall. Get us out of there. Poison shield was what? Now I gotta remember. This, right? No. That? 
stupid me didn't write it down. Not skilled enough to use that spell. So that's actually another spell. Bottom left and middle. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. I can't even see where the other button is. Got it. But it's supposed to open the door that's on that side, not this side. There we go. Oh boy. We're poisoned. Let's heal. I don't think we have what we need to heal poison. It's okay, he's not poisoned anymore, but still. Thanks for reminding me about that spell, Varanor. I'm surprised the shield didn't absorb poison completely. No, but it, it slows it down a lot. I'm sure if you keep upgrading your character, eventually it will. Okay, that's interesting. I should fall down that portal. I don't even know what we're doing at this point. It just opened up a whole new area in the game. So clearly we're not supposed to fight the boss. This looks like suicide. Try it. Key. Gotten a key. Everything we could have imagined. This key opened this up. We need a second key. We need to fall. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, spiders! Or oh, mosquitoes, rather. you die. Now we die, he says. Where am I going to die? Is it because we have no food? Closer. I'm afraid to go that way. Does this do anything? No, it doesn't. Don't remember how to heal this guy. Well, that's not a temporary status, so... Or a rogue? There you go. Save the game just in case. 
now where am I? I'm back upstairs. And I can't open this door yet. I suppose to throw something through that portal. Threw it right back at me. That wasn't nice. Not nice at all. I can't go west. There's only one key on this side, so there's no point going back that way. Yeah, that that was painful. There has to be a way to raise maybe a button or something. We have to raise those um those two traps. Sometimes taking a torch does something, no? Not in this case. I'm gonna start to die soon if we don't have food. Okay, can't go back that way. So here I am in the prison. Which is a pass through back to 11. There's a part of 11 we've never been to. Um. Yeah, I don't know. If I go back this way, we're close to death. There must be a button here somewhere. Whether it's an intentional button or something hidden on the wall, there has to be something. Let's try something with this teleporter. We threw something through the teleporter last time. Let's try throwing something past it when it's not on. We have this rock. It's the only rock. Oh, okay. Look at that. brought me back here. I want to go down this next hole. Ah! 
It takes me to the same place, but there is a rock here. That's the rock we threw. You guys gonna torment me again? Is there a button here? Yep, there's a button there. That's probably what turns... closes it. The next key. Okay, so I don't know what the, what's going to be in that room up ahead. I'm literally going to have to start manually healing everybody because we're going to use up too much food by rusting. Keep talking, man. Nobody can help you anymore. Whatever. Or I'll talk. You haven't even attacked this yet. Efe, how are you? Just in time, we're close to the end of the game. I think we've activated the final boss, we just don't know what to do, and we're out of food. So we don't want to go there anymore. Use this key. Okay. Use resist fire. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. And when did we last save? I didn't expect that guy to be in there. We're not going to attack him head on. That's for sure. Hey, Apocalypse. Um, Apocal Optimist. We are in level 11. We're close to the end. I'm thinking we've already activated what I think is the final boss because he keeps stopping us. We just need to dance around these last couple of guys, I'm thinking. All our characters are at level 13, if you're wondering. I always like the final boss of this. Let's take him out. Come on. Love how they keep missing. Even the slash is not doing a lot of damage, which is kind of pathetic at this point. Stop walking into your own poison. There he goes. All right, there's some items here. Hold on. Um. I can't get that pattern right, and I keep falling through the floor. That happens all the time to me. 
it's kind of hard. I'm stuck in pit room on level five or six, I forget. Five or six. I remember which room. I think I had to get some help for that. I think I asked for some hints from the channel to get through that. And I, I remember the room you're talking about, but I don't remember exactly how I got past it. We are designers who built this prison for a single purpose. I'm also out of food, so somebody's going to die at some point and stay dead. Uh, to hold the Undying One until the gears of time finally come to rest. Should the Undying One be awakened? We left behind the only weapon capable of taming the beast. So is that here somewhere? In this room? On this altar? Wait, what? Is that it? Is this the ultimate weapon? The weapon of power. What does it do? A long time ago, these weapons were used to stop and imprison cubes. Okay, uh... Here, you. You wield it. Got no attack power, but... Did we give it to our rogue? Because he's in the back row, or does it have to be somebody in the front row? Much respect since you awfully clearly got through it. Thank you. Yeah, it... There were some points in this game which I just couldn't do it. There was a whole room full of herders that kept poisoning me. I couldn't get through it because I didn't have the uh, poison shield at the time. So if you can and you are got a mage that's doing earth magic, make sure you get the poison shield. That's a, one thing I could tell you that's not a spoiler. I won't tell you where this room is, but you'll come across it later. I've watched that on YouTube over and over and I still can't get it. It's tough. I, there, were, there were some sequences here that took me a while too. Please don't die. Please do not die, because you've got no food. Okay. Oh, snap! There really is... It's just a cube. It's coming after us. Hold on. It's a freaking cube. And it's running after us. Great. And we fall. To our deaths. Plus I seldom remember any details. Yeah. You don't mind spoilers. Even if I see how it's done. Okay. Yeah, I was going to warn you. I was going to say we're, we're going to see some spoilers. But I never remember the details either. So where are we now? All right, screw this. Let's go to the crystal. Let's revive ourselves and let's let's go kick some ass. I think we're supposed to use this weapon against the cube. They're throwing so many enemies at us, but they're not giving us any food. It's terrible. You have to use it, obviously. Yeah, they didn't give it to us not to use it. <laughs> Well, are you enjoying the game? Optimist. Because as long as you're enjoying the game, you'll get through it. Just gotta persevere some of these... these areas. Appreciate Twitch Schweiner so much, I never get through anything without help. My skills are limited. I feel that way too sometimes on certain games. I just throw my hands up and I'm like, what do we do now? Everybody's hungry here, so somebody's going to probably die soon. Once we get some food. Gotta be an enemy up top that drops food, please. Wait, what's this? Why is there a button in here? What did that button open? Why did I never see it before? Something happened when we touched the button. Unless that was the button to open where the crystal was. I just closed it. Yeah, you gotta persevere for sure. Takes time.
Everybody's hungrier. I have no food. Oh, look, a dinosaur. Maybe he'll drop us blue steak. Hold on. Oh my goodness! He just... Wow! So, he fell on the blue dinosaur, killed him, and then he fell on us and killed us instantly. Wow. Yeah, the game has auto-mapping and it's so cool. You remember the days of graph paper and pencils? People still do it on Twitch. I know people who do whole streams just to map games. It's crazy, but it's a it's a beautiful art form. All right, good thing we saved it here. Somebody's got to drop some food, please. Here he comes. So do I really need to bother with the enemies here, or can I just have him, like, fall on top of them and kill them? Because now I have to fall down to get past that. And anyone that mods the auto-mapping for, from older ga for older games like AO TV, yeah, definitely. Used to love pen and pencil mapping. Yeah, I remember Eye of the Beholder. I have yet to play it. It's on my list. I've been playing games since the 80s, early 80s, but I've never played Eye of the Beholder. I'm not as young as I look. If I do look young to you, but... Um, point being is that... Um... Come on, run out of here. Let 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 this thing kill the enemies, right? Like flatten them. This is not a very good run here. Love that so much. I bought Grimrock because I love the OTB. I have not been disappointed. No, it's very much a homage to it. Um, it's on my list to eventually play EOTB. I know EOTB 3 can be hit or miss for some people, but why am I going the wrong way? Completely the wrong way. I need to get to the crystal. Did I close the door to the crystal? Probably. Closed something before. No, it's open. I don't think this crystal helps with hunger, though. What the heck, man? Just get to the crystal. No sense of direction. The first blobber of its type I played was Land of the Lore, the original Lands of the Lore. Now they're all hungry. Jeez. I think I may have to start from my last save point to do this all over again. I'm just gonna run around and let him kill the enemies if that's the case, and then concentrate on him. I don't know if they keep respawning the enemies. What should they do? Because why make it so easy? Well, at least we could come down here to the crystal, even though it's out of our way. Here goes nothing. Don't load. Save. Well, we got the auto save. That's that's what matters. Don't fall on me! Is 
We got stuck in there. Yeah, he's gonna do that a lot, I have a feeling. I need to keep hitting him with this item, and then as soon as I keep hitting him with that item, I hope it'll take enough of his life to kill him. I mean, we gotta deal with these enemies, too. There's like one enemy that gives food. Which is pretty cruel. In fact, we're going to starve to death is a reality now. First RPG was Bard's Tale. When, I re when they remastered it, I bought all three games and played them all through twice each. Nice. Yeah, Bard's Tale would be nice to, to play. I started out with all the Ultima games back in the day. Okay, one down. Wait, wait, that did something to him. He's not moving now. Please tell me this does not have limited use. Oh, he... Okay, so the blue dinosaurs are going to drop blue stakes. <laughs> Do not fight the enemies, just run. Your dad had it on C64, never beat it. I have the remastered trilogy, which is pretty nice. Be cool to play it. Ravenloft is on my list. And we'll play, we have a lot of, a lot of these blobber type games to play that I want to play, so. We'll never run out of any. It'll probably take me another five years to get through the 200 games on my backlog. Almost that game went 50. Devil's Whiskey? I've never heard of Devil's Whiskey. It's a cool sounding name, though. Okay. Just ignore him. There we go. He killed that one. Killed another one. Wrong direction. See, this is going to be a problem, because I'm either going to fall down... I'm either going to get trapped by all the enemies, or I'm going to fall down. So when we get back to... the portal... Let's do a save there, so I don't have to keep coming back from the crystal, because this is time-consuming. Not that we're on a time restraint or anything, but... The deal is to finish this game today. And then we're going to randomize the viewer's choice games before the stream ends. I had another game picked out in case I ended this soon, but probably not going to get to it. Going to be Bard's Tale back in the day, but I didn't have any trouble with the remaster since it was auto-mapping too now. Yeah, the auto-mapping makes it easier. I got lost in Charabray too. Scarabray. My mapping skills are as lame as my shooting. I don't think I would have good mapping skills either. Alright, save here. So none of us die. Not yet, at least. Don't fight anybody. He's gonna kill the dinosaurs at some point, right? So... Let him do that. And if they drop meat, we'll pick up the meat. 
thought he was gonna fall down the pit. That would have been fun. Come on, kill him. I'm just doing this so he kills him. Back upstairs we go. Stay a step ahead of them. No, you missed the blue dinosaur, which I needed you to hit. No one can help you anymore. Not even the blue dinosaur, right? Oh, come on. You went right through. All right, he killed him. He killed him. He killed him. I need dinosaur steak. Come on. Killed one, right? Nope. Killed something. And we're dead. I got backed into a corner and I couldn't get out of it. I'm really concerned about not having enough food here. The mage is gonna die. He was the first one to go starving. So he, I was going to say, he cannot go over the pits, but he just has to go around them. Alright, keep killing the enemies. Just keep killing them. I don't care how you do it, just kill them. At the fall down there, we got trapped. Another one dead. Cool. There's steak in there? No. No, he did not drop a steak. You son of a. How do you get food in this game at this point? Dead. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a small break so I can go change out my uh, contact lenses and we'll be right back. I am going to kill this guy no matter what. Just give me a minute. We're almost there. I'm going to put up the be right back screen. Literally two minutes.
All right, let's do this. Hope for the best. I mean, we can't fight him with the other enemies, and they don't seem to respawn. There's just tons of them. I, I mean, I can't fight him with the other enemies flying around. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's do our best to get away from them. Stupid of me. This is definitely one of those trial and error kind of games that keep going on forever. We're going to beat this today. I think we need to trick them into killing the enemies. Somehow. It's gonna keep taunting us. That's fine. Oh, a blue stake. Thank you, Jesus. Can't carry it, can he? There's that portal that I don't want to go through, I think. That will take us the long way around again. As to what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to feed my mage because he's near death. Throw that down. Come on. Got the steak. He's got the steak. Eat the steak. There you go. Come on, guy. Wrong direction. We had it, too. I just wanted him to kill a couple more enemies. And then we could start hitting him with this. Now we don't have the stake, either. Ah, we don't need that. Leave an item slot, just in case. Falling down this pit. Other one dead. It's the only chance we had at saving ourselves. All right. We're going to have to try a new plan here. We'll teal up. And let's just kill him. It's not going to matter. We're hungry. We're tired. As a party. Not me, personally. There has to be a way. You know we need to shoot him with this weapon specifically. Should kill him. I would think. The last time we shot him with it, he's like frozen place. Maybe that's when we can attack him? I, I don't really know. Okay, so that's a save. Get back to where we were. Anybody has any strategies, I'm open to them. 
the strategy of just waiting for him to kill everybody is not... Like, for all I know, they're respawning up there. I don't think this is a limited use weapon. If I have to, I will use it against the other enemies. Alright, so we did hit it. Something happened. It stopped. Critical hit. That stopped it. Temporarily, it's starting up again. Die? No, I don't want to die. Okay, killed him. Alright, he stopped again. Take. Steak, steak. Give me that steak. Killed both of them. There is no way. There is no way. All I wanted was that blue steak to give it to my mage so my mage could live. was that blue steak. Damn you. That steak is going to be the bane of my existence. Alright. New, new idea. Stop playing around with the steak and keep hitting him with that secret weapon. Whatever it may be. No, no! What kind of enemy is this? It's a cube inside a dungeon. Like... It's like we went from medieval times in a dungeon crawling around to cyberpunk cubes. Primitive machines. Am I missing something here? Is this why we can't hurt them? Okay. Because I'm not hitting him and doing any damage. Did that do anything? No. Get away from him. It's starting up again. And this, um... Alright. If I can't beat him this time, I'm gonna go look for a hint because I think we need to keep hitting him did I miss the VC order VC order no you did not you're just in time creature 
How are you? We're trying to end the game and then do that. But I have like no chance in hell here. Can't figure out how to damage this boss. We did get one last viewer's choice game. It's Cave Story Plus, so. So apparently the boss of this game is a giant cube that keeps rolling towards us, if you want to call it that. There we go, we, we saved him. He crushes our enemies and he tries to crush us. And all I know is that we have this one weapon. Oh, you know what? Holy snap. Okay, I think I figured this out. Remember how we put the items in him to revive him? Maybe we need to take the items out. What do I take out from here? Come on. Come on. Can we take it out already? Jeez. Alright. We learned something there. Get away from him. So, we gotta take the items out. That's what it is. I need to find them and remove them. The right point. Sorry, guys. Let me figure... Where is this? We took it out from there. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I'll put the order on my Discord. Um, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll hit you up on Discord. I promise. For sure. But no, you did not miss it. And... I'm not sure how we're going to take out that last... These other pieces, from them. Okay. Let's go heal. Yeah, I'll hit you up in Discord. No, no worries. It's too much light here. Let me... Fill it. Man, we're... Nowhere near that crystal. At least we healed or fed our mage who was at he was the closest to starving to death. That's not bad, right? Okay. We're alive. And I need to remove the parts that I took from him. What do we take so far? Who has it? Question. There's the gear, the bladed gear. I wonder if I could just leave those pieces down here. I'm not gonna need them. Okay, hey, let's do this again. Now that we know what we need to do. There we go. That's two. That's three. Well. Alright. If we 
stop them from moving, maybe. Nope. Is this it? Oh, no, 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 no. More stake here. Nope, 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 nope. Screw the stake. Screw the stake. Rest for a bit. We have one more item to remove from him. Once we remove it, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's heal some of our characters that can't heal yet. Because they're too hungry. What does this do? That just made him stronger. Okay. No point to that. I, that I could see at least. Stop falling down, buddy. Our human fighter needs to heal. reload the game because if we keep falling I can't heal anybody where is he there he is that's my fault I went forward instead of back. Again, I see a blue stake on the ground I wanted. I think whatever we needed in there, we took. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Which one of these? Come on. Take one of them. Where's the part we need? Now we're dead. Just that one part. Now that we know what to do, this is a pretty cool boss. I'm not complaining about the boss anymore, but... I didn't expect the boss of this game to be a cube. Keeps killing us. Now I have no light. We shall overcome. That's what we will do here. These enemies have to be respawning at this point. Come on. There's one more object we have to remove from this guy, and I don't know where it is. And then I think he just stops, and then I think we just kill everything that's on the board. Hopefully. There's a piece of him right now.
One of us is dead. Yeah, alright. And I saved it right before we died, so I fucked up. Sorry. I thought I was loading the game and said I saved it. I think I saved off over the quick save. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're gonna have to go back now. How stupid I am. The last save was the auto save before we took out. Might be before we took out all of the pieces from them. Maybe not. Because I would have come down here and saved. Happens to the best of us? Thank you, Eric. Yeah, it happens to me a lot. Forget what other game I did that in, but um, I basically saved it. I think it was Alpha Protocol. I saved it right when I was about to die and had to go back and redo parts of the level because of it. Why auto save can be dangerous sometimes. Alright, we're not giving up here. Come on, he's a giant cube. Where is he? There he is. Here, it's one of these. I'm pretty sure it's one of these. No, it was here, and we took it from him. Okay. Understandable. Oh my goodness. So we took the infuser, we took the blade gear, we have another gear that we need to take from him. We took the the orb, the spherical thing, whatever it was called. So... And I'm assuming this is after we did all that. Like, didn't I drop one of them here somewhere? Yeah. No, probably not. I dropped something here. I don't know. Okay. It's gotta be here. Something here. No. Here. No. Okay. You gotta find the right side to take something out of. Should I really try to clear the room before we do this? Because we took out the other three items without doing that. Okay, this is before we took all of these out. I do not know what we're supposed to be exactly be doing here. Okay. Let's get rid of some of these things at least. There's the other piece. The infuser's right here, no? Holy cow! This... 
What killed me is that I auto-saved when I shouldn't have auto-saved. So now we got to take all three items out of them. That's the problem. So not only do I got to get him to stop spinning on the right place, I also need to get in there and take out the items from him. And we got these little monsters running around attacking us. Wrong way. Yeah, this is tough, right? I made it even tougher on myself by saving over the autosave where I actually had him with one item left. Which would have been ideal. We're not creating a new game. We're not starting over because of this. So, the idea is pull out all the items, or pull out as many as we can. Fall down. Okay. And then if we fall down... See, clearly I'm not seeing everything. There we go. Take that. It's one more down. And I can't get to the other one. Do not want to get backed into a corner here. Run. No. No, 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 no. Don't go that way. All right, we got a stake. I got to get him out of the middle there. That would be helpful. I was trying to do was kill the mosquito in front of me so at least I could move out. I couldn't go over and fall through the pit because there was fire guy there. I don't even know the proper names for half of these enemies and we've been in this game forever. Yeah, I don't know what that's gonna activate or close. Actually, hold on. Does that activate anything? Because he was on top of it before. Anything here? Nope. Go downstairs for a minute. Let's save this. Okay, let's see if we can just kill him now. Whatever happens, happens. I don't know what that door opens, but... Okay. Had to fall through again. I really appreciate your narration about the strategy is. That's helpful to other players. I don't know how helpful my strategy is, but... Gotta do something here. I'm glad it's helping. You can hear, like, something dying in the distance every now and then. I don't know what that is exactly, but... Just trying to stay alive here. 
There's only one more item we need to take off him, and I don't know what it is or where it is. Sucks. So before we go through, let's make a proper save so we don't save over anything. I think they keep spawning. They're respawning the enemies. There a pit here I could fall down so that oh we barely survived that. Let's go heal. There's one more gear we need to take. I don't know where on them that gear is. At this point, we've gone to this crystal so many times, I actually memorized the way. Maybe not, since we did find a dent in there. So leveling up is not going to really help us either. So if we would have came here with level 50, and by I mean by level 50 is have level 50 skills, it would have helped us clearly defeat the lesser enemies up there. But wouldn't have done anything for us against the cube. All right, this is going to be one of those miracle things. It's going to take a miracle to beat him. We got him. We got him. Okay. So that's what you're supposed to do. Once you get the last part, and I saw what the last part was, it was the infuser. Then you could start attacking him. Then he starts taking damage. Then you pray that he doesn't have a lot of hit points. Which means we're probably going to have to hit him from afar. I don't see how we're going to be able to attack him close up. Come on, Mr. Cube. Kill my friend the Mosquito here. Where's that last, last piece? I can't get to it. Behind him, probably. It's the infuser. I know what that looks like. Hopefully your spatial anti-cube item deal. Tons of damage. I hope so. I hope so. We'll have to try it. Oh, don't tell me it's on its backside. Nope. It is. Unless... Yep, it's on his backside. There it is. Now we could damage him, I hope. Wow. Wow. When you have time, would you talk about your character build? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um... So, our first character is a Minotaur. He's a fighter, and he has the... Uh, the Headhunter skill. So the Headhunter skill is good, 
Because if you keep finding these skulls around, uh, having the headhunter skill allows them to raise your... your attack power. There's five skill uh, um, skulls in all. I only found three of them. One I couldn't pick up because I couldn't kill all the enemies there. You chose that too, yeah. So he's good in maces and armor. Then we have our human here. He's also a hunter. You know, found three as well. Yeah, I couldn't... I found three. Probably not the same three you found. We have a human hunter. He's pretty good. Seriously? Oh, God. Alright, hold on. Now we're trapped. Alright. He uses swords. He's human. He's a fighter. Um, he's been pretty good. I only used athletics once. I did not use athletics. I basically did sword fighting and... Here, I'll show you. I basically did sword fighting and armor for him. I only used athletics to bring up his strength once, and that was it. I didn't think athletics would be that good. I also found this item, which is a treasure. If you put the treasures in his in, in their inventories, it'll it'll augment some of the stats. I don't know exactly which stats it'll be augmented, but it will augment some of them. Our rogue is kick ass because of his crown, and because he's also good. I was using throwing weapons for him, but then I decided to switch to assassination so that he could attack from the back row with any other weapons. Throwing weapons, they don't really do anything for me. The mage, earth magic, fire magic, spellcraft and defense, I gave him a little bit of that. Um, fire magic has been really good so far. Earth magic, I did not have enough reason to put points into it. Because you can't poison enemies that are that can poison you I think and you can't poison and poison enemies that are not human or organic like the wardens that we saw upstairs so I kind of gave up on that and just focused on fire magic spellcraft was good for defense um well not even for defense but it gave you the light spell the light spell number five there I don't know what the darkness spell is but the light spell is so that I don't have to keep using torches and finding them just lights my way. So there you have it. Um, for the most part. That's the build. The loadout. Now we're running for our lives again. Can't get trapped here, which we did. Yeah. He did assassination throwing weapons on the rogue. They didn't know whether to use points for dodge to get him armor. Um, I was using dodge, but then somebody brought up a good fact. If he's in your back row, does he really need to dodge a lot? He's never really exposed to the enemies. Don't save. Thank you. I just noticed that. Thank you again, Varanor. Don't do it. No. There you go. We loaded instead. Okay. Should be okay now. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Go back upstairs. You would be so frustrated. I think everybody would leave the channel and just be like, he sucks. <laughs> if I would have done that. Thank you for helping me. You went with spellcraft and fire and lightning. 
Um, they're okay, but they're okay later on. Where's that final piece of his? We got it once. Now I can't find it. Yeah, if I had to do it again, I would have gone with... Not with, um... With Earth spells. If I ever play this again, I would, I would totally skip the Earth spells for sure. You know, the enemies will event who throw fire will eventually damage him, I guess, as well, for fighting. Now I die, right? Mark. Where is he? Probably easier to load at this point. No, you can't reallocate your points. But what you can do is eventually you find these special books. And the special books are worth five points each. So if you save them and use them, let's say you want to change a character, you know, to assassination. Really? Um, and you don't have enough points to, to level them up, you're towards the end of the game. You use those books and at least you could fill in the points. But there's no way to reallocate your points in this game. My guess is you would have to keep grinding to do that, and that's the only way. Here it is. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do a save here. We're just going to go ape shit on everything. According my language. Keep starting over as I see what works in trial and error. Uh, I would say go with your gun instinct. Don't worry. Fizzle. Because I did the wrong spell. Don't worry about your build out. I was worried about it throughout the game, but now I'm at a point where it doesn't really matter. As you can see, I'm at the end boss, and it's like, it doesn't matter what my stats are. So, I just gotta stay alive here, and we're, we're pretty much dead, so. And this stupid weapon doesn't do much against them. It does, like, barely any shock damage. Stop struggling, he says. We have the crystal downstairs. I was thinking I was going to have to start over too, but then I realized, like, nah, you don't have to. Let's revive everybody. Then we'll just keep going and attacking him until he's dead. I was confident in the build I made. I kind of sat down and read the manual before... Uh, starting the game, which helped. Eventually, you'll find like the crown and and like, you know, the special necklace that will make your character stronger, and you don't have to worry about it. There's going to be parts of the dungeon you're not going to be able to do. You're going to have to go back to them. It was a part of the dungeon I never completed on level 8 because I was never strong enough to kill them. When I came down here, it kind of closed me off from that area, so it's not like I'm going to go back. Seems harder to you? Yeah, if there's an area where you can't get through it, go to the level above. 
See if you can get stronger and then go back to it. Yes, I do. We have some, so we're going to have to use those. And we will use them. It's going to be all ranged weapons, right? There's a range, ranged weapons only plate. Here's another one. Put that up. You cannot stop him from moving in one shot you. Yeah. So we can't even like get close to him. We just gotta keep attacking. I'm more worried about these other en random enemies that are here. And then the fact we keep falling down. Only makes him more angry. There you go, I threw a weapon at him that did no damage. And now we're in the darkness too. Alright, let's prepare ourselves. I've been saving all my bombs for more challenging enemies later on, past level 5 anyway. Yeah, that's... I never really used them until now, so we might as well use them. Okay. Good thing I saved down below. I don't know how many hit points he has, and we certainly didn't take a lot off him. Maybe like three, 400 at the most? Yeah, it is kind of crazy. We'll get we'll get past this. It'll take time. I know people have told me they've gotten past it. I'm confident we'll be able to do it. He's like, stop it. Stop hurting me. No, buddy. You're dead to me. Will we get trapped like that. This is the end boss. Did I expect this? No. Thought it would have been a giant monster at the end. 108 damage with the fireball is pretty big. Yeah. Death by dice roll? I don't think this is the dice roll game. I think it's just RNG. Stay around the center at least, so that we don't mess up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, who that up? Why did they put the crystal so far away here? You vote using four bombs. Okay. I'm gonna do that. It's a joke, it's a D6. There you go. Yeah, let's throw some bombs at him. Just throw all our bombs at him. I think I could throw five at a time at him, right? Let's try it. Fire does damage, but... This is slightly stressful. I've never seen this far into the game. Maybe I should give up now. No, don't. Don't. You'll get through it. This just takes time. I'm not giving up. I have every bomb available. Um... We have fire, we have lightning, we have frost, and we have more lightning. So combine that. I think we used all our fire bombs. That's a poison one. And I think that's it. And then we have these fire ones. Put 
them into the weapon slots? Yeah, why not? At this point, this weapon is useless. So... We'll have them all. He does. Our rogue. There you go. Throwing axes is not going to help him. And we also have fire magic. This is how we'll do it. Does the weapon not stun him anymore? No, the weapon's only good in phase one, like Varamore said. That's how it looks. It does damage, but it doesn't do any damage that's anything worthwhile. So. I think fire damage is better than anything. Come on, stop falling down. What am I doing? And now we're dead. Yeah, it only does 28 damage right now. That weapon was the ultimate weapon to use against them. It is pure crap. Did that hurt him? I don't even know what that did. So now all we have to do is just run around and keep shooting him and stay alive. That's all that's left to be done. Frost has no... Frost does no damage to him. Apparently. Try lightning. Yeah, I think lightning's gonna be better off. Fire is like 40. Well, you know what? Since we can't get close to him... Let's take this. That's worthless. Let's take what they call the ultimate weapon. Do we even have it anymore? Just put it in one of their hands. Damage is damage. Right? We did some damage already to him. A lot of people said all they had to do was just keep coming down here, healing themselves, and then attacking them and fighting them. Wait, something happened. Did we kill it? Wait, something just happened up there. As long as he doesn't regenerate his hip... It's HP while you're not- wait, please tell me that's not an option. He looked dead? He looked dead to me too. Now what? Wait! We die? Please tell me we made it out alive. Yeah, I fell through, but I didn't think that was the end of it. The whole mountain's being destroyed. And that's us walking away, running away.
I think we did it. Hey, Bert, not. Um, no, I don't. It is and it isn't. It would have taken me forever to kill them. And it looked like they were respawning anyway. So nothing was left but a crater where that mountain stood. Thank you, Bertnot. We actually beat it. <laughs> I'm awesome? No, I'm not that good. Not that good, but thank you. We beat Legend of Grimrock, finally. Impressed? You'll beat it. Just don't overthink it. Don't keep restarting. Just play the game. You'll be okay. Time for an Iron Man run through? <laughs> A no-hit kill run-through. Alright, so what did I think of this game? This game was fun. GG, thank you, Varanor. This game was fun. Um, definitely surprised uh, at how good it was. I thought it was going to be pretty basic and not very challenging at all, but it turned out to be. Um... The only room I would have done that I couldn't get through was where all the herders were that kept poisoning me. I think going through there we would have gotten a key to open up the rest of level 8 and that would have given us like some items maybe or something or some extra XP. All our characters were on level 13 when we finished it. This is a really good game for what it was. It's an indie game obviously. It's only like 500 megs at most once you put it on your computer. So... I'm looking forward to playing the second game. I know it's harder. If I had to change anything with my party, I definitely would not have chosen Earth Magic. Because that became useless halfway through the game. Probably would have done shock damage instead. Um, lightning. The Minotaur, I probably could have gone with the Mace. But... We didn't find any axes until we got to about level 7, which irritated me. The human was okay. He was okay. The mage was great. Fire fire and lightning would have been better. You can't max out every character, so... Herd magic is useless right at the start, too. You fight herders and undead. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I didn't think of it, so I was like, oh, let's pick herd magic. And the first spell is a DOT, so that's bad, too. Yeah. The problem with that was that um, I figured I don't ever usually use poison damage in RPGs or JRPGs, but I figured this time let's do something different and go with poison magic. And I was like, it was very underwhelming. I couldn't really use it. Uh, what do you think of the unarmed combat for the Minotaur tank? Unarmed combat? I can't really comment on that. We never used it. Yeah, you can comment on the classes. Unarmed is broken, simple as. The headhunter skill? I... Unless you're in the back line, why would... I don't see what the point of going unarmed is. Um, unarmed gives both high damage and defense. Other weapon skills don't give much defense. Oh, okay. So unarmed would have given me more defense. Maybe that's the way to go with the uh, Minotaur. Maybe we should have done unarmed damage with him instead of the mace or the axe. We had the axe. Also, unnamed damage scales more, unarmed damage scales more with unarmed skill. It's three every four points versus two every four points for weapons. That's good to know. Third, you aren't tied to finding a good weapon. That's the other point right there. So, Paco Optimist, there's your answer. Thank you, Bert Knott. Port, there's a trail... A trait pick that's plus six unarmed damage. Okay. In fifth, I think there's an item that's another plus unarmed damage. Okay, so like a treasure. All right. Cool. So, is the second game more like the first game? 
in terms of skills and traits? Like, can I go in and possibly use some of this knowledge for that game? Or is it like, hey, we're starting from scratch. We've changed the system kind of deal. At some point, I want to play Grimrock 2. I don't know if I'll play another Blobber before we get to Grimrock 2. Like, maybe maybe I'll play something Ravenloft related. Unarmed is also fast and fast attack speeds. Is better than slow. Harder attacks generally because you stagger your enemies. Hey, Grimrock fan. There's a new tree, uh, skill tree that is a bit different in Grimrock 2. It's better in my opinion. Keep that in mind. Do you play any platformers? Um, yeah, we've played platformers before. I'm a variety streamer. Um, we're going to play Destroy All Humans on the Xbox soon. That's on the list here of games from Viewer's Choice. And Cave Story Plus is kind of a... Got some elements of puzzles and platforming, I think, which Varimar picked. Grimrock 2 has some awesome mods, by the way, which is like entirely new game in themselves. I was looking at the mods for... Well, not the mods, but the user-generated levels for Grimrock, and they weren't as impressive as I thought they would have been, but... I'll have to look into that. Thanks for that tip, Grimrock fan. I'd be keen to see you play Ori and the Blind Forest and Will of the Wisps. I have played them. I play them both. I love those games. Um, if you want to see my playthroughs, I think one of them is up on my YouTube page already. The other one I still got to put up there because it was from so long ago. I believe the melee for Grimrock 1 is two unarmed fighters up front and two... Minotaur throwers ranged in the back. Okay. Because range doesn't miss from the start. And magic, it needs a lot more clicking. Got it. Yeah, there are a couple of good mods, Dungeons for Grimrock 1, Master Quest. I saw that one. There's one, and one whose name I forgot is something about a prisoner. The mods, Dungeons for Grimrock 2 are really outstanding. Yeah, this is a game you could just kind of keep on playing if you find the right mods for it. And... Um, definitely check that out. I saw one guy use two mages and no rogues. Any comments on that? Bird Knob would be the one and Grimrock fan to comment on that. I didn't, wouldn't know because this is my first playthrough of this game. Somebody mentioned using nothing but rogues. <laughs> I guess you could use them. They're kind of like paladins if you train them the right way. All right, so let me see if I can find some dye here. Always we got to do is a spinner. Okay, we have a six oh, six sided die. Um, Optimus, thank you for the follow. But I don't want two six sided die. I just want one. Hold on. There's a reason why we're doing this. So we did viewer's choice recently and we picked six games. So now we got to pick the order of the games themselves. I'll put it on the screen in a second. Um, I'm going to use Google as a dice roller just to do this real quick. That just seems like a fun challenge I haven't tried. That seems more difficult, but mages aren't bad. They're just more difficult to use and can't be both evasive and damage at the same time, like on arm can. Yeah, ma the mage was hard because I had to keep like remembering the spells and putting them in every time he fired. I mean, you could go two unarmed plus two unarmed fighters with no mage, <laughs> no magic. Yeah, you could do no magic as long as you have people throwing stuff in the back row and. They're pretty skilled. You probably would get close to the amount of damage a mage would do. The mage in Grimrock 1 just, you know, it's the fire damage. That's about it. And the shield. The fire shield and the poison shield were the only things that were really useful from it. That's true about the torches. You do get light. Okay, so let us roll here. Uh, let me switch screens. 
Everybody sees it. Let me open up Notepad. I'll figure out what the next game we're going to play is. I am going to be away for a couple of days, so our next stream will actually be next Sunday. make this a bigger font probably too big but um game number one yeah that's way too big freeze is useful in grimrock too but not essential do you get items that you could throw that freeze your enemies all right maniac mansion Yeah, good luck with your run optimist. It's not about finding the perfect um, party, I think. I think you can basically win it with any party. It's just a matter of how you level up that party. At least it was like that for me. Because that, ha like, after the fourth level, I started realizing, like, you know, throwing daggers from the back line and dodging is not what I need. Let's do assassination skill instead. Little utility. It's not like EOB where spellcasters have a wide variety of supply spells. Yeah. You're basically going to concentrate on one set of sp or two sets of spells mainly in here. Uh, Crusader No Remorse was number four. Tales of Monkey Island was number five. I've been playing a lot of adventure games. Uh, Tales of Monkey Island was number four. I mean. Game 150 is going to be a special game. Police Knots, uh, English translation. Deo Kojima's first game. Well, one of his first games. I think he also did Snatcher, right? I don't I think Snatcher came out first, and then Cave Story Plus. Air gets invisibility, but isn't as good as it sounds from what I understand. Yeah. I was wondering if I should have had a bow user early on. But then I was like, if throwing weapons don't work, and I'm only picking up like arrows every hour that passes in the game, and I'm picking up like one arrow, then what's the point? Okay, so game number one is going to be Cave Story. We're playing that next. Starting next Sunday. There you go. And we're getting raided come here to chew by Braxton and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble. Braxton, how are you? You just missed it. We finally beat <laughs> Legend of Grimrock. I'm so sorry. Um, welcome, Raiders. We're picking the next several games I will be playing. No, it's okay, Braxton. Quite okay. I use your... What you said, you know, just keep fighting it. Eventually, you'll lose it. I didn't realize you had to take all the parts that you put in to... And spoiler alert. You know, there was there was a phase one, basically. And then the phase two was just attacking it. So, Alex, how are you? I fought the cube. I beat the cube. You, Christian. Braxton, you forgot the wheel. What wheel? Oh, no. You're picking another game. So we're rolling here to see what the order of our next game is. Cave Story Plus is number one so far. Drawing plus shield in front can make sense, perhaps. Two rogue throwers, two rogue missiles in the back, and another name build, meme build. Yeah, four rogues all together. That's what people were saying. I'm good. I'm doing good. Uh, this is our last stream before we go on vacation here. So number two, we'll play Destroy All Humans, the Xbox version, the original one.
we're picking our games or orders. It'll probably take us May through June to complete. I forgot I just didn't want to miss the Grimrock boss fight, but I did it anyway. No problems. I'll I'll send you the VOD when it's up. Um probably Maybe not tomorrow, but probably by Wednesday I'll have it up. Or you could just watch it on Twitch. It, it'll be there. It's not a bad thing. It took us a long time, though, to clear out the Wanderers to to be able to even get to the cube and figure out what parts and go into the cube, like where they go and, and all that. So it took us all three hours. I thought we were going to finish early, but we did not. Welcome, everybody, from... Their excellent channel once again. Um, I didn't forget. I just didn't want to miss Grim Rock boss fight. Oh, Braxton, you appreciate you coming over for that stupid crashing game. Speaking of which, let me let me shout out Braxton. If you haven't, if you're not following Braxton. Um, give him a follow. Braxton, what were you playing today? See if we could shout you out on here through the app. There we go. Finishing Broken Sword 3. Okay, so Braxton plays a lot of point-and-click adventure games. Really nice ones, really good ones. He's good at them. Give him a follow if you're not following him. He's also played games like Rimrock and beaten them. So... and we had a bunch of cutscenes again. Don't see others using the bow. I've never used the bow. I didn't think it would be useful because uh, we weren't getting many arrows. Hey, Mitrell, how are you? We just finished Grimrock not too long ago. And we're choosing the order of our games. Uh, game number one will be Mani All right, Maniac Mansion. This is for viewer's choice. That's off the list. Thank you. I'm doing good. Um, I The boss fight was a lot stranger than I expected. Because by the time we got to the end of the game, it turned into steampunk a little. And the end boss was a giant cube. I thought we were going to fight a monster or something. But it, it was pretty interesting. It wasn't bad in any way. It was pretty deep. Good. Uh, six, we already picked. Three. Uh, okay, so three is Crusader, no remorse. <laughs> no remove. No remorse. So we're picking the order of the viewer's choice games. No problem, Optima. Optimist. Um, it's, it's good. I like talking about the game, so glad you're here talking about it with me and with all of us. We had a nice discussion at the end of this game. Tales of Monkey Island will be game number five. And that leaves Police Knots as game number six. So that's the order right there. Cave Story Plus is next. Destroy All Humans on the Xbox. Thank you for the sub, Optimist. Very kind of you. Thank you for following as well. Um, so six is... Police Knots. So that's the order as we have it. All right, um, we're kind of finishing up the stream now since we beat Grimrock. I appreciate the raid, Braxton. We're going to play, pay it forward to someone else now. Um, I'm curious to see if you will enjoy Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion is another game people have requested me to play. 
I played it on the NES, which is probably the worst version of it all. Um, I was a kid when I played it. I didn't really get into it. We'll see if I like it. I know it's a lot of running around, different characters talking to each other, you trying to solve puzzles. I watched Video Game Nerd play it, and there was like something about putting a hamster in a microwave. So if I find a hamster, I will put him in the microwave. Uh, just because it was a funny bit on there, but... Yeah, thanks again, Braxton. You've been a good host, Next242. Have a great night, all. Yeah, I'm sorry we're ending the stream now. After the raid. And that's wrong right there. Our next stream will be next... Sunday. Actually, yeah, no, that's right. April 30th is next Sunday, 2.30 p.m. It happens? Yeah. Don't try that at home, kid. No. Have a good week, everybody. Um, I'll probably jump in some streams. I'll be out of work this week, just enjoying some time off, taking some time off from streams. I have some family visiting in town, so I'm definitely going to take it easy next Sunday and rest, being that I'm traveling the day before and I'll be back late. So Sunday will stream. Might miss Tuesday's stream. I don't know yet. And then Thursday, Sunday, we'll be back on a regular schedule. Um... Yeah, catch you guys next time. Um, we do have a Discord channel if you're interested. There's the invite. It should still work. Um, my YouTube has all of my past playthroughs. I'm currently uploading Legend of Grimrock. Probably by Wednesday, that whole series will be up. Uh, I just got to remember to find some time tonight to upload this one. All the VODs. And when we come back, we're going to play Cave Story Plus. Varanor, thank you for picking that. Everybody who picked games, viewer's choice. Might change the model a little bit for viewer's choice in the future. We'll see. Uh, but for now, we're going to... 35,000 points to pick a game is not bad. Let's see who's online. We'll raid somebody. I had fun with Legend of Grimrock. Uh, best part about it, I didn't have to read tons of dialogue. Not that it's the best part, but you, you know what I mean. Most JRPGs, RPGs require you to read a lot. and. That would not have been great. Who's online? Um, there's a lot of people online tonight. Tons of people. Let's raid GI Monkey. He's playing co-op Dead Island with Shade Yoshi. Last time we raided Shade Yoshi, so we'll give the raid to GI Monkey this time. Good night, everyone. Have a good week. I'll see you around. Join the raid if you can. And uh, take care. Uh, of course, I did not use the right command. Because I'm not typing it from my chat bot. Take care.